Good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck. Uh, so this morning I saw this guy coming through town. This is not a local truck. He's just passing through and he stopped at uh, one of the local auto parts stores. Apparently he's having a problem with it. I'll give you a quick walk around and then maybe I'll try to talk to the guy and see if I can get an idea of what's happening. But that's a, I believe that's a 55 foot telesquirt. It's on a Pierce Arrow chassis. It's an older one. Looks pretty clean. I walked around it before I turned the camera on. The only problem with these 55 footers, they're good for getting an aerial stream if that's what you're looking for. And I'm going to walk past this signal light post here to stay far enough away to even keep it in the picture. But the, the biggest problem with the 55 footers is this. They don't have enough horizontal reach. If you're trying to get the, make a reach a roof over top of a parked car or something, it ain't gonna work. They just don't have a long enough reach. This one looks pretty clean. I'll see, like I said, the guy's, uh, he's having some kind of mechanical problem with it. He's over here at the auto parts store. You can see where I'm parked over there. But this is a Quint, so it's got a hose bed on it. And uh, no hose at all, so it's obviously a, my guess would be a used truck of some kind that's in route somewhere. It doesn't have a license plate on it. So I have no idea where it's going, but I'll try and see if I can ask the guy and get back with you. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. and I was uh, just kind of passing through the downtown part there after walking the dog over the park, and I saw that fire truck and had no idea where it was from, so I thought I'd uh, stop and take a look at it. and. Anyway, it turns out that uh, Orion is actually Orion, Iowa. And the guy driving that uh, was from a little fire department down near Maricopa, Arizona, a little privately funded department named Hidden Valley. And uh, they had bought that, and he was bringing it home from Iowa. It was a real clean truck. It was a 1991 Pierce Arrow. Uh, it's uh, apparently uh, Orion. I'll have to look it up on the map and see how big it is, but apparently it's a pretty small town. That's a uh, 55 foot telesquirt and uh, they're adding it to their fleet down there and uh, he was a real nice guy he was having a little issue with the thing running right and so he was replacing the uh, the fuel filter on it and that's why he was stopped here at the auto parts store and so I didn't want to hold him up he he was uh, very gracious and talking to me but he needed to get on the road and need to get home and of course I didn't want to hold him up so I didn't ask him to go on camera but uh, pretty clean old truck uh, the the problem, of course, is that you don't get any insurance credit for uh, aerial devices after they're over 25 years old. So that truck had effectively aged out. In their particular situation, they don't care about that. And uh, they ended up buying that truck, he told me, for $10,000, which is an excellent price, even if you bought it for parts. And the truck's a good, solid old truck. The pierces of that particular vintage are, are good, solid trucks. Uh, years ago, uh, here we ran a Pierce Arrow. Uh, similar to that one and ran it for years and years and uh, so anyway uh, truck passing through town I couldn't uh, couldn't help myself I had to stop and talk to the guy and got a quick look at it I'll share it with y'all and uh, Flapjack wants to drink water now because he hadn't had a drink of water so we're going to head home and there's a cup of coffee at home with my name on it so I stopped over here in the shade so I could get some good lighting to film the rest of this for you I'll pan around I'm at the this is a 24-hour card lock service station here, and this is, where, this is where we always used to get our gas when I was still working. So for right now, I'll tell you, take care of each other, love each other, and I'll get back to you with another one here pretty quick. 